every business needs traffic. Without traffic, your online business is going to be dead in the water. Now, there are tons of traffic sources out there. We all know Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and so on. But there are also lots of lesser known traffic sources that if you choose the right one for your niche, you can potentially get some really good results from. And the one I'm going to share with you today gets a couple of million hits every single month. Now, before we get into what that traffic source is, if you like building your business and are tired of the BS and the hype, you're in the right place. I upload a couple of videos every single week. So please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification. So we're going to head on over to SimilarWeb to have a look at what this traffic source is. And you can see it's called Blog Lovin. Lovin is spelled L-O-V-I-N. It's blogloving.com. Now, you don't need an actual real WordPress style blog to take advantage of this traffic source, but you need to make sure that you are in a niche that is quite visual. So when I say visual, a niche that would do well on Pinterest, for example, so things like cooking, beauty, fashion, that kind of stuff. If you're in something that doesn't you know, lend itself to a lot of visual stuff, then it may not be the right traffic source for you. If we scroll down a little bit, we'll have a look at the traffic. So monthly visits averaging about 2.1 million hits per month over the past few months. People are sticking around for just over three minutes. You can see they visit between two and three pages every time they go to this particular domain. And the bounce rate is about 54%. And if we come down a little bit further, you'll see that the majority of traffic comes from the United States. So it's top tier. It's English speaking for the most part. And then we've got some other European countries which are making up most of the rest. Now, you're going to have to go to blogloving.com first of all and create an account. It's very easy to do. Now, when you create your account, and I'll just go into my one, for example, before you get to a page like this, when you very first create your account, you'll be prompted to follow a couple of blogs. So I just clicked on the first few. I think I did a search. I did a search for food and then I just followed the first two that came up. You just need to do that before you can move on to the next step. You don't really have to be interested in that topic, but I just chose food because, well, I like eating. So anyway, because I chose food, then when I come to blogloving.com, when I'm logged in, I see pages like this, which are related to food. You might see something different if you choose fashion or lifestyle. And you can see from the menu at the top, the kind of niches that are popular. We've got DIY and crafts, fitness, beauty, lifestyle, etc. So as you can tell, very visual things. If you're an affiliate marketer, if you're in a make money online niche, for example, it doesn't mean that you can't use it, but it's probably not going to be worth your time and there will be better traffic sources out there. But if you're already on, for example, places like Pinterest and We Heart It, and it's a very visual thing, then definitely worth checking it out. So what I would recommend that you do is you come to one of these areas up here and you just click on it. I'll stick with food and drink. But check the kind of content that is currently being shown. Now, it will change from day to day, but it'll give you a kind of idea of the stuff that blog loving pushes on the home page of their main sections so you can see here just these nice little recipes with images um not quite sure why that one's there oh there you go it's got cookbook but anyway you can see the kind of stuff and people can either love or save this post a love is like a like on facebook or youtube um, and then obviously people save it for future reference so of course if you've got good quality content and then within that content you can potentially send people elsewhere or recommend your main sites that's obviously a good thing to do um, up here you've got your profile pick obviously I've not got one yet but you can click on this and you can click on profile and from here you can upload a profile picture that can be you or it can be your logo it's entirely up to you so let me just click on the back button there I want to go back and you can change your name as well your username so if you logged in with your real name and then you want to change it so it'd be blogloving.com forward slash whatever you want to do so long as it's not taken of course so you can see here a new post and this is how you create a post it's super simple so you just click on that and you want to give your post a title so i might it could call it anything so for example let's say how to create a private label rights product dun, dun, dun. and then here is all of your text so you can say things so for example how to do something here um, you can click on this and you can upload images from your computer so and that's really really important for stuff like this because it's very visual 
Um, if you highlight a piece of text, for example, there's not a whole lot you can do to make it look nice, but if you highlight something, let's just do that and let go of the mouse, you can either bold in it, you can italicize it, and most importantly, you can add a link. Uh, so you can actually have a link back to your main website, your main blog, your e-commerce store, a landing page. It's entirely up to you. And then when you're happy with how, how this looks, uh, you can come down and just double check everything. And then you click on post and you can click on this, which will automatically share it to these places. So long as within your settings, you have connected your Facebook and Twitter profiles. Um, and then you would just hit post and I've not obviously connected mine. You could add a tag, for example, in my case, it could be PLR, private label rights. And then you just hit post. And I'm going to post this thing. Obviously, this isn't a very good one, um, but we'll just click on post and there you go there is my post and kind of out of shot if i bring this down a little bit you'll see the url let's bring that down so you've got the url there that i could potentially share somewhere else or I could then also go to Pinterest, Facebook and Twitter and then share it there. And if other people come across my content and they like it, of course, then they're going to hit love. Hopefully they might save it. But most importantly for me is that they consume it and click on the links within my content so I can get some of the traffic from this particular place over to my blog and website. So again, I can't stress this more than enough. Whenever I recommend these traffic sources, that doesn't mean they're going to be good for you. They may be good for you. They may be completely irrelevant to you. It's going to be totally dependent on your niche. Um, you don't want to be trying all of these different traffic sources because you're going to spread yourself too thin. You might want to pick one or two outside of you know, the main obvious ones that you're probably using anyway, such as Facebook, YouTube, and so on. I've got a traffic Rolodex below in the description. So if you click on that, um, I'll send that to your email inbox. I'm always adding to stuff as well. So whenever I come across a new traffic source and it's not in my actual Rolodex, I'll either add it or I'll send it out via email so that you can check it out for yourself. But other than that, blog loving is definitely worth checking out if you are in a visual niche. Other than that, thank you for your time. Much appreciated. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.